the humble cathode ray tube TV. Can it be called treasure or trash in the year 2019? What can you do with a TV like this in the year 2019? And is it still usable? From the back of the unit, we notice it says Toshiba Color TV, model number 1450TB, 56 watts. Live parts are made accessible when the cover is removed. Made in UK. This TV has a serial number. So we've got two, a SCART, an area port, and a RCA jack on the front of the unit. So let's turn this TV and see what it can do. Let's see what we can do with a cathode ray tube by hole by itself. And the answer, nothing. There's no need for anything. The TV does not do anything. This is because this TV relies on an analog signal, which is no longer in service. So you may think that this TV is useful for that. Useless. However, there's still some uses to it, which I'm going to show you now. So, let's get to the test bench. The device that we are going to be using today is the iVHD, which will hopefully help. Will it make the CRT tube any good in 2019? This is a free view box, 4 HD, TV receiver and recorder. You've got a HDMI, RV in, coaxial, RV loop out. So you have your standard aerial ports on it. You have main power isolation switch. Can this Fifi box be the truth of making this CRT useful again? Let's find out. As we can see, this CRT TV does work still. I don't see any problem with it. I know it's not HD. However, it works. And for my simple lifestyle, I don't watch a lot of TV. So I actually have this TV in my room. And it really, really don't bother me. It's a TV. It works. It's made in England. It's just overall great TV. And that was the Fufi Box blanking out or something. This isn't the TV spot, this is the Fifi box. I personally don't see a problem. Oh hey, didn't see you there. I'm just sitting here watching TV on my CRT TV. I don't see any problem with it. Flat screen TVs, well they do work. They are just, you know, there's something about them. They don't bring out the same thing as a CRT and the fact that they're, um, they're thin, they fall off easier. This TV's like a brick where I've got it. And what I just love about this is the technology behind the cafe ray tube. Considering I got this 100% free from a curb side, say if it's at the curb, I'm happy. I have a wonderful universal remote linked up, and I can mute it, I can control it, I can turn the telly off, and overall I'm just really happy with it. So, let's try some games. Now your question might be, why has the CRT got rainbow colours on it and the iView HD is turned off? This is because I'm going to attempt to play Minecraft and possibly Fortnite on this machine, on this TV. So, how am I doing that? Have a simple HDMI to SCART converter from China, so the, in, the, the um, output from the TV is going into SCART. The input is the HDMI and it's converting that over to the signals that the CRT can read. That is powered by a simple USB plug. There's a socket for the whole TV setup up there. And 
yeah, so let's get to it, shall we? Okay, don't know why the audio picture's a bit bouncy, but this takes through the sound, I believe, and the audio's very bouncy. Hey guys, it's KTV here. While this loading screen is up for Minecraft, I will skip it, but hold up. There's an announcement. There was a problem with the audio on the cathode ray tube for the laptop to transmit the audio for Minecraft. However, I have recorded the gameplay through the laptop into my desktop computer, so what you'll be hearing is a audio file. That would be better for you guys because it will sound a lot more better. There will be more quality in it. Yeah, sound better. There, it was nearly going to be. There was going to be no audio on Minecraft whatsoever. So now, as I've recorded the audio through the laptop, you'll be able to see the Cafe Radio gameplay. However, I'm going to edit the audio from Minecraft over it as well, so you can get that experience. Okay, bye guys. Enjoy the gameplay.
Thank <laughs> you.